All right, fellas, it's Monday morning. Let me see here. It's 68 degrees, 51% uh, humidity. Let me get my coffee here because I know I'm going to have to wet my whistle. I like that. I like that cup. Got this down uh, Columbia, Tennessee, uh, where we go to visit our son. This comes from a place called the Pink Porch. So we just happened to be walking around there. It's a secondhand shop. We were walking around there one day, and I saw this, and uh, I thought it would be pretty cool, so I picked it up. All right, you know, it's kind of a given, but, you know, we got to say it every now and then. And, and I tell you what, I really do appreciate everybody that comes to my channel and uh, watches my videos. And I guess I'm doing, I'm doing good because uh, y'all keep coming back and uh, I like the models that I'm putting out. So that's a good thing. I got a mail call here. Uh, plus, I've got, <clears throat> I've got a new project up on the bench we're going to take a look at here. And I hope y'all like it, but... Uh, I got a package in the mail from my good friend uh, Jim B, and I'm gonna show you all that. So let me <clears throat> let me get you turned around here. We're gonna take a look at uh, what came in the mail and uh, what's up on the bench. Hang on, boys. All right, fellas, here we are at the bench now, and uh, <laughs> check these out. My good friend Jim B sent me these. Uh, I just dig this little gasser. It's a uh, passing gas. This is a Hot Wheels. Uh, Little car here. This is a let's take a look here. This is a 164th. I don't it doesn't say it on I know it's a 164th, but that's that's pretty cool looking. I think this is a 33, maybe. Looks pretty cool. I appreciate that. And here is a 56 Ford. I think this is a one. Let me look here, see what this is going by. This is a one. 30, I can't see it. Yeah, it's a 138 scale. And the doors and, and the bed do open up on this one. But uh, I tell you what, I appreciate that. We're going to put this little guy right here. He's going right up there. In between that Chevy there and that uh, 41 Willys Gasser. That looks pretty cool. Don't know where I'm going to put this one at yet, but uh, I dig the old trucks, especially the old fat fender trucks. That just looks super cool. Jim, I appreciate it, buddy. All right, let's move on to uh, what's up on the bench next. All right. You guys know this one. This is that uh, Revell's 41 Chevy pickup. I wasn't sure what I wanted to build. I was rummaging through all of my stuff kits in the stash and uh just started rifling through everything in the house and out here and uh i got to looking at this one and i thought boy i'll tell you what uh i i want i want to stick with a truck so i pulled this one out fellas and it's it's a pretty nice kit I'm, i've already got a lot of the work well not a lot but i've got some of the work done uh i wasn't sure exactly what i was going to do with this i had in my mind either a street rod or pro street. Either way, I knew I was going to have to tub out the, the back because other than the stock wheels and tires that came with it, anything else I was going to put on there uh, just wouldn't fit. So, and I'll pull this off here in a minute, fellas, and show you. But uh, this is what I'm going to build next, I believe. And I'll tell you what, let me set this down. That's a pretty good fit. I've got the cab, the box, in the hood setting up there and it's all fitting pretty good i like it this one's got the uh, headlights already molded in on the fenders which is kind of cool because it's always a pain trying to set those uh lights up on those fenders get them straight the wheels and tires that i have chosen i think these came out of the well i really don't know to tell you the truth they're big and little tires the these are the bigger, wider tires that be going on the back and the smaller ones on the front. But, uh, of course, I'm going to have to repaint those. But I think they look pretty cool. I think they're going to... Those are nice and wide for the back. Pretty cool looking tires and wheels. All right. Let's take, let me pull this apart. We're going to take a look. Like I said, everything's fitting really nice. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, let's look at this box. I, I made some tubs, and I'm going to show you all how I make those tubs here in a minute. 
Uh, it may not be the right way, but it's the uh, method that I come up with, and I've done it a few times before, and it looks it looks okay, so I went with it again. And uh, you can see all the mods I had to do on the bottom side. I had to make those cutouts to get those tires to fit up in there. Now here's the tires that's going to be going up in there, and well, I'll tell you what, they don't uh, they don't have a lot of room, but uh, I think they're going to look all right. I trial fit them the other day and they look like a. It's hard to do this one handed, fellas. All right, let me get this out of the way here. I'm going to show you what I make those tubs out of. And here it is. Yep, you got the old pill bottle. And this is what I do. You guys can see those where I drew me a line down the center of that. And then uh, in this case, I went three eighths of an inch down. From the inside of the bottom not not up here because there's a lip all the way around this that all gets filed down and sanded and sanded all the way down to take all those marks off the bottom so you get a smooth surface and then I measure down three-eighths of an inch and scribe my line or not scribe it but draw my line all the way across and then uh, get out the old Dremel tool and get after it and then it's just a matter of from that point on just setting the tub in there uh, seeing how it sits in there, keep sanding, keep sanding, trial fit, sand some more and trial fit. And I got them where they're just below that uh, return flange there on the bed. Both sides are about the same. Just below that. So that's how the, that's how the, I do the tubs in the, in the back. I think that's going to look pretty sharp. I have got, here's a bunch of the other stuff over here. I've already got some of the chassis put together and modified and what <clears throat> let me let me get this over here and show y'all man this was this has been a chore let's start with the front now the front let me turn this around the front is pretty much stock the leaf springs are in a stock position the <clears throat> axle originally set up on on top here of the leaf springs if you put it in the uh, correct position here, it'd be on the bottom. So I moved that axle up on top of those leaf springs, and that seemed to put it in the right location. I did a trial fit with my wheels on the front, and uh, of course I had to shave all this off to get my to get my width correct this way. So I, I got that set up. I'm, I think I'm I'm pretty close on that. And then on the back. Uh, the leaf springs are in stock location. Everything is in stock location, but on this one, I made those, I put those uh, lowering blocks in there. You can see those blocks. Let me see. Ah, heck. You can see them right down there. I stuck those in between the leaf spring and the axle housing. And that pushed that axle up <clears throat> Excuse me far enough that uh, I think it's in the right position puts that uh, rear tire uh, Where I want it So I'm gonna do some more mocking up today and trial fitting with the uh, wheels and tires with the body on I want to make sure that I've, I've got this in the proper location Best I can before I move forward and start doing any painting or anything Because boy, I tell you we all know that After you get done painting if you find you've got an issue especially uh, if you've got to break loose and reposition your front or rear uh, axles, that's always a pain. But I think I'm getting there. Here's some more stuff. Here's all the, the front end and the rear end parts for the suspension here. Just cut these off the trees yesterday, kind of taking a look at the dash and how things are going to fit together and steering wheel. So, fellas, I'm getting there. Here's the uh, ice fan engine. This is a 572, 572, 572 uh, blown engine. It's got a tunnel ram set up on it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, look here. See all those pieces in the bag? That's supposed to be all assembled on a bracket that goes onto the front of that engine. And <laughs> while I was cutting it off, I made one cut and it kind of exploded in my hand. That's, that's, Kind of the deal sometimes with the resin. 
But uh, I've already contacted the Iceman, and uh, he's going to ship me another one out when I make my next order. So, uh, But, you know, I'm in no hurry on that right now. Well, fellas, I think that's going to be about all I got for today. Just wanted to give a little uh, shout-out to my buddy Jim B about the uh, die-cast models that he sent me and a little bit of an update on what's next up on the bench and uh, where I'm at on it. All right, fellas, I think I'm out of here. I'm done.